On my table, I have four Snapdragon powered laptops to choose from, and each of them represent a different SKU in the Qualcomm Snapdragon lineup. And it really begs the question on which Snapdragon laptop is the right one for you if you're considering one of these. So I hope this video acts as a buying guide to help you with your decision. Now this is in partnership with Qualcomm. They did provide these laptops so I can make this video. I'm gonna start with the Snapdragon X Elite laptops. The most popular variant on the market right now is the 78 variant. The higher the number, the faster the X Elite processor. The 78 variant being at the lower end of the X Elite is usually a little bit cheaper, but all the X Elite processors you buy all have 12 cores. They all have 42 megabytes of cache. The only thing that kind of changes is whether or not they can dual core boost, meaning two of the cores can boost higher than the multi-threaded frequency. And in the more higher end SKUs, the multi-threaded frequency is a little bit higher. So for example, I have the 80 variant in the Surface laptop and the 78 variant in the Asus VivaBook S15. The S15 can't boost at all. Like it doesn't have a dual core boost, but it has a multi-threaded frequency of 3.4. The Surface laptop also has a multi-threaded frequency of 3.4, but two of its cores can boost up to 4.0. They both share the exact same GPU speed of 3.8 T-flops. All these laptops on the table have the exact same RAM speed. They're all LP DDR5X and they all have 8,448 mega transfers a second. Now the Snapdragon X Plus laptops vary. Some of them come with 10 cores, some of them come with eight. Like this Dell Inspirin, has 10 cores. It also has 42 megabytes of cache like the X Elite processors. And it also has the same multi-threaded frequency of 3.4 gigahertz, but it doesn't have a boost option. The X Plus laptops, some of them can boost one core, a single core boost instead of two. This also has the same GPU performance of the X Elite laptops that I talked about. But the weird thing is the X Plus with eight cores does have a single core boost up to 3.4 gigahertz, but its multi-threaded frequency is a little bit lower at 3.2. I think the biggest difference going to eight core is probably the GPU performance. It has the lowest at 1.7 T-flops, which is less than half of the 10 core X Plus and the X Elite. The other piece of good news is regardless of whether you buy a laptop with a Snapdragon X Plus or an X Elite, they all come standard with 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is great. Other vendors are still offering eight, and I think that's disgusting in 2024. On top of all this, all of these laptops support up to three 4K displays. The other variance between all of these laptops is the price point. Snapdragon X Plus with eight cores generally start at 799. 10 core models of the X Plus, 999. And then the X Elite laptops are a thousand and above, depending on how much RAM and storage space you decide to go with it. And doesn't mean every Snapdragon X Plus with eight cores is gonna start at 799. Like for example, this Asus VivaBook S15 X Plus model is 1099 right now. And the reason why it's more expensive than the 999 Dell laptop is because of the display. Like we're talking about a 3K OLED 120 Hertz display compared to a QHD IPS, not as bright, not as color accurate, not as contrasty as the OLED panel as ASUS is offering. So you're gonna take a little bit of sacrifices in terms of what comes with the laptop if the price is gonna be closer to that 799 bracket. The X Elite, you know you're getting the best of the best. Like every X Elite laptop that I've reviewed has had a OLED display or an IPS display that gets really, really bright, but also has a high refresh rate like the Surface laptop. But the big reason why I love Snapdragon laptops, and this is true for an X Plus or an X Elite, is the battery life. No matter which one you buy, you're gonna get insane battery life. Every test I've run on these laptops have well over 10 hours of use before needing to charge. On top of all that, the idle time on these Snapdragon laptops are incredible. Like I can literally close the lid, go away for five, six days, come back, and I know my battery will still be really high. Now the big question, how is performance between all of these laptops? Well, obviously the X Elites are faster than the X Plus versions, but it really depends on what you're doing. Like single core clock speeds are generally the same between all of these laptops, except for the Surface laptop. That dual core boost does make a difference and it performs a little bit higher. When it comes to multi-threaded performance, the X Elite 
Vivo Book does the best, even though technically the 78 variant is supposed to be slower. And the reason why is because the Vivo Book is using a lot more power, so it can keep a more consistent speed for longer compared to the Surface laptop. The 10 core in the Dell Inspiron performs exactly where it should be, and same holds true for the 8 Plus in the Vivo Book S15. But the one app that these laptops utilize so well is Photoshop. Like if you're editing photos all day, I highly suggest an Exelite laptop. Like the performance on them is incredible. And because Adobe has optimized Photoshop for ARM, it just works so well. As for video creation, I don't really recommend these laptops for that. And this goes true for most thin and light laptops. Like, yeah, you can jump in and make some quick changes to let's say a 1080p timeline, but like if you load up 4K videos on this, it's just not gonna be a good experience. As for developers, again, you're gonna get better performance with the X Elite. It's a little bit more drastic, but you're probably wondering why the eight core S Plus is performing better than the 10 core. Most likely due to the fact that it has that single core boost, which does provide a little bit more performance. On top of that, again, Asus likes to feed their laptops a little bit more power than the competition, so you just get steady gains. But the one area you will see a difference is GPU performance, especially with the 8 core X plus because it's only providing 1.7 teflops compared to 3.8 on all these other laptops on the table, you are going to take a bit of a hit. Like if you're someone who's going to be using the GPU in these laptops, you're better off sticking with the 10 core X plus or even the X elites. Like if you're a hardcore World of Warcraft player, which is a game that runs beautifully on these laptops, I highly suggest sticking to the X Elite. Like I had settings on medium and high and it was running beautifully. Like I was getting over 60 frames per second. But the one thing that truly impressed me was the fan noise. Now, if you have it under load, yes, it's going to get loud. But if you're just like browsing the net and doing like general stuff that most people do in class or at work, the fans never go on. Like these things stay fairly quiet. If this was like an Intel laptop from like a year ago, it'd be so loud that I'd probably get kicked out of the room. In terms of upgrades, opening it up is pretty easy to get into on all of these laptops. A little more difficult on the Surface laptop, but they can all have their SSD upgraded to something bigger. RAM and CPU is all soldered onto the motherboard, which is pretty standard these days for thin and light notebooks. So the big question, which Snapdragon processor is right for you? Well, here's the thing. A lot of factors have to be taken into consideration. Are there deals right now? Because that's huge for a lot of people. But I will say, if you're just browsing the internet and you're just using Microsoft Office, you will get amazing performance with the 8-core X Plus. It's perfect for that. And you can save yourself a little bit of money compared to other products on the market, depending if there's no deals. I think the biggest reason to move up to the 10 core X Plus version is if you want the GPU performance. The GPU performance on the 10 core X Plus matches the X Elites that I have on the table. The X Elite laptop are for those of you out there who want the best of the best. You want the best design. You want all the other features that come with it. Like take this Surface laptop, for example, the 15 inch version only comes with the Snapdragon X Elite, but you get this gorgeous three by two aspect ratio. You get 120 Hertz. You get one of the best touch pads on the Windows side of PCs. Like it's haptic, it's so good to use. And this design is absolutely gorgeous. But deals are also fantastic. Like for example, in the USA, the Asus VivoBook S15 with the Snapdragon X Elite is on sale for $10.99, which is the exact same price as the Asus VivoBook S15 with the Snapdragon X Plus. So do your research, search the internet for deals because that always helps as well. But one thing you're gonna get from these laptops is good, consistent, everyday performance with exceptional battery life, like some of the best battery life in the business. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.